blood vessels are vital for the survival of every tissue in our body. The capillaries transport the blood that carries nutrients, biochemical signal molecules, and oxygen to every cell in the body. For years, scientists have been investigating ways of generating biological tissue outside the body, for example, to provide tissue models for testing drugs or to replace diseased tissues within the organism. The Artivask technology aims to rebuild three-dimensional pieces of skin, including a tubular supply system that can take over the function of the blood vessel system. Researchers and companies in Europe have bundled their knowledge in biology, chemistry, modeling and simulation, process engineering and machine construction with the aim of pushing tissue engineering towards the ability to generate living three-dimensional tissue models. The geometry of real blood vessels has been optimized by nature to enable unobstructed fluid flow, to maintain constant wall shear stress to the capillary cells, to prevent dead flow zones and thrombus formation. Thus, the scientists used computational fluid dynamics calculations as a basis for developing a bio-inspired vascular system in the lab. In the body, the capillaries are surrounded by tissue. Biological tissues are composed of cells and the tissue matrix. This matrix consists of biological polymers, which are produced by the cells, for example, collagen or hyaluronic acid. In order to provide a nature-like environment for the cells, the Artivask researchers used the biopolymers from the natural tissue matrix. The biopolymers first have to be modified chemically in such a way that they can react with each other to form stable hydrogel matrices. By adjusting the degree of chemical modification, the scientist can even control the viscosity of the biopolymer solutions. Also, the softness and stability of the gel matrix can be customized. Apart from generating the tissue matrix, the cross-linkable biopolymers are also one option for fabricating artificial blood vessels by means of UV curing. Alternatively, synthetic materials can be used to build up the vessels. The electrospinning technique is one option for generating very thin micro and nanoscaled polymer fibers. A high voltage electric field between a syringe needle and a rotating collector leads to fiber deposition, resulting in a tubular non-woven fiber matrix. Electrospun small porous tubes made from biocompatible polymers like polyesters and polyester urethanes can be applied as permeable supply systems for tissue models. Stereolithography is a laser-based method chosen for the generation of branched vascularized vessels. It is part of the planned automated process. Structuring of blood vessels is done within a polymetric bath positioned on a platform. Depending on the structure size, thousands of layers may be necessary for a complete vessel system. Up to three branched vessel systems can be printed parallel in one processing cycle. After polymerization, a developmental step is necessary to remove unpolymerized material. Additive freeform fabrication is the only way to produce branched hollow tubes with porous walls. Blood vessels cover a wide range of biochemical and mechanical properties, which calls for the processing of different materials all at once. The research aims to combine 3D inkjet printing and stereolithography in one machine to create a hybrid additive manufacturing process chain. As a result, a versatile test platform allowing the integration of different processes under inert atmosphere has to be realized. The inert atmosphere is paramount. Only in the absence of oxygen is it possible to achieve full cross-linking, resulting in biocompatible structures. The Artivask technology platform provides a variety of materials and processes for the fabrication of small tubular systems. 
tubes can be fabricated from bio-based materials or from synthetic materials. Bio-based tubes are naturally permeable for all water-soluble substances. Synthetic materials are artificial materials with high stability. They are not permeable to water, but by using the laser curing technique, the tubular walls are equipped with very fine pores that enable permeation of the nutrients into the surrounding tissue. In order to simulate a real blood vessel, the luminal wall of the tubes has to be lined by endothelial cells, the cells that form the wall of natural blood vessels. The Artivask system uses human endothelial cells to line the inner wall of the tubes. Plastic tubes with their artificial surface have to be coated with biological molecules first in order to enable the cells to adhere to the surface. Biological surface coating and seeding endothelial cells into the tubes have been developed by the Artivask partners and can now be applied to various sorts of materials and geometries. The seeding efficiency is analyzed under the microscope. A closed cell monolayer is indispensable to controlling the transfer of substances. Currently, the assembly of the tubular system is still done manually. In the next step, the cell culture medium is flushed through the tubes just like blood in real blood vessels. The bioreactor design has been developed and optimized and multiple prototypes have been fabricated during the Artivask 3D project. The aim for the future is to perform the complete assembly automatically in order to produce high numbers of identical tissue models. In natural tissue, nutrients and gases cross the blood vessel walls and move to the cells outside the capillaries. The presence of endothelial cells at luminal walls of the supply tubes will increasingly enable studies addressing the transfer of substances between blood and tissues and the other way around. The scientists aim to provide tissue models that can be used in future to investigate the permeation and accumulation of drugs or toxins. The assembly of the 3D tissue in the bioreactor is already performed by a dispenser robot that has been designed and constructed for automated pipetting of cell suspensions. Here, cells from fatty tissue and cross-linkable gelatin form a bio-ink that can be printed into the bioreactor and subsequently cross-linked with soft UV irradiation. The pump transports media with nutrients through the tubular system, just like the heart pumps the blood through the organism. The Artivask 3D technology platform enables the production of tubular supply systems, which can be used in bioreactors and the automated assembly of three-dimensional bio-artificial tissues like fatty tissue. It adds new manufacturing techniques for microstructuring of synthetic and biological polymer materials to the portfolio, and the research aims to continue further modification of the material properties. In future, the researchers anticipate introducing cells from various tissues into tailored tissue matrices, even tissue models comprising human cells. Such models could generate more relevant data in pharmacological and medical testing than animal studies and will then save the lives of the animals. And what about the replacement of real blood vessels? Currently, the fabrication of functional small diameter vascular grafts remains a vision for the distant future. The mechanical properties of natural blood vessels are very well adapted to the various tasks in the body, like maintaining the blood pressure and preventing bleeding, and these cannot be reconstructed today.